Today, we are going to talk about what kind of heating system is um, suitable for bathroom and also what are the few tricks that you can make your bathroom heater works better and how you can keep warm in the bathroom in this cold winter. Bathroom is one of the most strange room in your house in terms of keeping feel, you feel comfortable. In most instances, when you're running the heating or cooling for the whole house, um, there's not much difference. But as soon as you go into your bathroom, it feels different. On one hand, it's because usually when you are ready to take a shower or take a bath, you are naked and it feels so different with and without your clothes. You may feel perfectly comfortable in 20 degree temperature, but as soon as you take your t-shirt off, you feel cold. In a lot of older homes, it is quite interesting that they try to separate the bathroom from the heated area, door always closed, and a lot of the time you see people opening their window in the bathroom that make the starting temperature inside the bathroom a lot colder than the room. Think about it, if the outdoor is like 5 degrees, 6 degrees, even 10 degrees, your bathroom may only be at 12 degrees. When you are coming from a well-heated 21 degree room and then go in there, take off your clothes, no wonder you feel cold and uncomfortable. And the first reaction is, oh, we need some heating in the room. How can we heat the bathroom? Conventionally, when we talk about heating, we have the oil fin convective heater, radiator, if you got an older European design home that got the hydraulic system, or something very common in Australia, the heat lamps, or you can use convective force air heater. So very, very similar to the portable unit where you got heating element and the fan blow through to heat the room. But not every one of them is suitable for use in a bathroom. Let me try to explain. Number one, I think we rarely see um, oil fin convective heater in bathroom. The number one reason is it relies on natural convection to warm the space up. However, in a bathroom, whenever we use it, except for if the ladies are putting on makeup, we are almost always running exhaust fan that works perfectly against a natural convective heater. All your warm air rise up to the ceiling and then the exhaust fan just take it out. It will take forever to try to warm up the space. That's why we got a big cross on convective heater. And then we got the heat lamp system, which is using radiant heat. What does that mean is all these heat lamps, they produce very high temperature radiation that directly heat your skin to provide warmth. In a lot of research literature, we can conclude that radiant heat is twice as effective in terms of personal sense of thermal comfort. And that's why the heat lamp are a very common and popular option. I think most of us would find it a bit painful to pay for that. This is one of the most common version of heat lamp integrated exhaust system. The main difference for heat lamp integrated exhaust from a conventional exhaust is you virtually cannot attach any draft stopper to this unit because the heat lamp need ventilation to keep cool. Otherwise, you are running the risk of overheating the heat lamp, which may lead to risk of fire. So that's definitely a no-no. And number two, it is one of the older version, simple design, no holes. All the exhaust is forced to go through the vent. So if I try to run this fan and exhaust, and if I pump smoke, in the roof area, it will not be sucking back in the room because the whole unit is in negative pressure. But some other design of the system 
which originally would be more efficient, actually make it less. Let's look at it. This is a newer model of the four heat lamp unit. In the design concept, it tried to be more effective by introducing a, a draft stopper integrated into the exhaust. But because we still need to cool down the heat lamp, they introduce all this opening above the top. And at the end of the result, we got something really interesting, but not favorable. When this exhaust fan is in operation, you are not only exhausting air from your bathroom, but also it starts to suck air in from the top of all these grills, from your dusty, fibery roof cavity. And if you're lucky enough to be one of the lucky people who have possums living in your roof cavity, all their fur and all their are coming through into your unit. When the unit is running, it's not that bad because it goes in to bring it out directly. But all those dust fiber potentially excrete from the possum or other small animals will stay inside the unit and as soon as the fan stops, it drops back into your bathroom. So it's not really a very clever and nice solution. Just like the previous video we talked about the exhaust fan, all these exhaust units need to have sufficient inlet for the air to come into the bathroom for the unit to draw out. For this particular unit or this type of unit, because if you don't get enough opening to, as an inlet to get air into the bathroom, it will not increase the pressure inside your bathroom to draw more air in. All it will do is, instead of drawing air from other area into the bathroom, it will just reticulate the air in the roof space, which is a waste of energy, and it also sharply reduces the effectiveness of the ventilation. That's something we all need to bear in mind. For this unit, we did some measurement using a high-sensitive flow hood that measure airflow. It's up to 40% of the air that the exhaust fan is pumping out coming from the ceiling space. Imagine how much unwanted air is getting into the unit. And now we come to the more trendy, nice looking integrated fan force heater with the exhaust fan. Before we go into any detail, the name itself sounds a bit oxymoron. You are pumping out heated air and then you are sucking in the same unit. It sounds like you are going to suck out a lot of the heat, hot air that you're producing. Not just that, in operation of this unit, as you can see in the smoke demonstration, the unit, when it's in operation, is actually sucking in cold air from your roof to warm it up and then blow into the bathroom. Instead of like normal fan heater, that reticulating the air inside the room to warm it up a lot faster. So in terms of efficiency, this unit is very questionable. This is how the unit look inside. We got two sets of fans. The bigger fan is where the exhaust is sucking air in from the room. And then this smaller fan is where the air supposed to get also from inside the bathroom and then got pumped out through this heating element and projected out as heated air. However, if you look closer, all the surrounding, you got a lot of openings that allow the unit to suck air directly from the cold roof cavity instead of from the indoor room, which discounted the effectiveness of the unit a lot. And also, the other thing is, here you can see the air outlet from where the fan going through the heating element is offset from the grill, which means it's already got suck and exhaust from within the unit. Not all of them, but some of the heating don't even get into the room before it got sucked out. So, at the end, what is the best solution? 
Personally, I still think heat lamp is a pretty good idea, but not working as an integrated uh, unit like these two. Rather, why can't we use it as a more conventional, old-fashioned gimbal light or pendant light that still can give us all the warmth that we need, maybe have some kind of angular control to direct which direction where we usually dry ourselves and put on clothing and then let the exhaust fan be exhaust fan that we can integrate whatever kind of draft stopper that we want. Alternatively, you can think about other solution. There is some upmarket um, unit where it's integrated with your mirror. The whole mirror plane is a heating unit. They won't go as hot as a heat lamp, but if you got a whole face of a glass, of a, a mirror, that is at 70 degrees, it's already warm yourself up quite nicely uh, in a bathroom situation. The other potential disadvantage of using a heat lamp is they are extremely bright. Even the good old fashioned bar heater may be a good option. And the other small tip that would make it a lot more comfortable is you should get a nice insulative uh, bathroom mat. Remember, when you finish your shower, walk out and step on the cold tile, that can be a thermal shock. A nice mat can stop you losing a lot of heat through your feet and it already helps you to feel a lot warmer.